FXE here with an unboxing and review of the U8 headphones purchased on eBay for $9.99. The reason I bought these headphones is because I needed a new wireless set of headphones for the gym. So without further ado, let's get on to the unboxing of these babies. So before we start going over what's in the box, you can tell the box didn't have a very good trip from China to my house. On the front of the box, you can see the U8 model branding of these headphones, uh, along with the picture that are very similar to the Power Beats 2. On the bottom shows red and blue accents you could have chosen from, and I did go with the red design. The back has a lot of information we'll get in more detail with after the unboxing. The side of the box shows the UA model branding again, along with the Android and iOS compatibility. Alright, now let's get the box open and take a look at what we've got going on inside. Huh. They attempted to have a fancy presentation here. It does feel somewhat cheap, though. And the paper's already ripped. Get this out of the way. Yeah, it's not fancy at all. Set this aside. We've got uh, some earbuds underneath. Two sets in there. Have a little bit of uh, cable management piece. We've got some instructions that no one's going to read. Uh, USB to micro USB charging cord. And finally we have the headphones which have a earpiece on them already. So you got three different sets. The U8 Wireless V4.2 Stereo Headphones is the official name. Weight comes in at 20 grams or 0.72 ounces. Sensitivity is 115 decibels. Super bass sound feature. IPX4 sweat proof rating. Describes the material as sweat proof and the ear hook is flexible. Has a 110 milliamp battery. Charging time of one and a half hour and a play time of up to seven hours. Standby times 130 hours and it does have a built-in mic and again it charges over micro USB. These things look great and they feel really light in the hand. So on the back you can distinguish between left and right. On the right it always has the power button. There are the earbuds to go in your ear and the hooks. Here you got your power button, short press pause, short press play, long press is on, and long press is off. On the top you've got volume down, uh, volume up, long press changes the track back, and long press here changes the track forward. The power button also answers then hangs up your phone calls. You can see how easy it is just to get set up into your ear. No big deal. See how they fit. A little close up. It's a very good looking set of earphones. Again, similar to the Beats. Without the Beats pricing. I then went ahead and tried out some music and was pretty impressed with the quality of the noise I was hearing, shaking my head around to see if they were going to fall off when I start moving around at the gym and they held on pretty well. Uh, then I started making some phone calls. So all in all these things for $9.99 I would say are well worth it. I made some phone calls, called my brother, he said I sounded clear. I uh, called my girlfriend. She said I sounded clear. She can tell that I was on sort of Bluetooth device, but everything sounded clear. Uh, listening to the music, it's not the best quality in the world, but it sounds pretty good. The lows are pretty low. The mids could use some work, and the highs for earbuds. Earbuds tend to have highs that are relatively simple to achieve because of the small speaker. I would say... Yes, my opinion is 
go ahead and spend the nine dollars and ninety nine cents they're almost an exact replica of the Beats Power Beats 2 the design is nice the build quality seems pretty good I can't complain about that the earpiece here is very flexible so it's not uncomfortable on the ear uh, I do like the flat cable and I do like the fact there's no controls on this cable. I have had wireless earbuds in the past where the controls were on the cable and when I'm bouncing around running on the treadmill or the elliptical, those controls tend to weigh down and come flopping over my shoulder and it's pretty annoying. Since these don't have that, I shouldn't have that problem. I will be testing these out at the gym. I'll leave some comments below after I do so just to let you know what my results were from that. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. I'll do my best to answer everybody's questions. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.